things for an awesome day. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. The Ghana Conference of Seventy-Day Adventist Women's, Children and Adolescents Ministries Department invites you to claim this promise, even as we welcome you to Quarter in Review and All Things New. I'm Marcia Harris. We commence the year 2023 with the launch of the IAD initiative, Rescuing Our Mission, on January 14, 2023. We praise God for the excellent attendance and the powerful messages from our Caro Women's Ministries Director, Sister Deborah Henry, our President, Pastor Exxon Clark, and Little Princess Denise Nelson. We also acknowledge and express sincere appreciation for the several soul-warming musical renditions from our gifted vocalists and group excellent hosting by the Harrises and all those who contributed to making this rescue mission a success. It was also delightful to have our 100 gems invested after their successful completion of the My Sister, My Friend curriculum. What a bittersweet moment it was when we took the opportunity to honor our former Women's Ministries Director and Administrator, Pastor Margaret Ramsaran, who served the conference with distinction and dedication for over 35 years. The Subscribe to Jesus Children's Ministries team led out in the county of Essequibo at a launch of the Olympics of Love, Prayer and the Bible Convention. This event saw the Husadarian Primary School Auditorium packed to capacity. The Children's Ministries Director, Pastor Carlin Brandon, shared the overview and objectives of this year's Olympics of Love, I Will Go program. In the afternoon, the departmental director held a special meeting with women, children, and adolescence ministries leaders of this county. They have vowed to strategically embrace the Olympics of Love manual and will be ready for the award ceremony in the month of November. Special commendations must be given to the Waramadang Children's Ministries leaders who have been working ardently with their children to complete the Olympics of Love I Will Go activity guide for children and adolescents. We invite all to continue this great adventure with our children. The Highway District of Churches, under the leadership of Pastor Leon Braffitt and the exceptional stewardship of his dear wife, Sister Patricia Braffitt, hosted a prayer breakfast and empowerment seminar for women. In keeping with the month's agenda, Rescuing Our Health, our young and vibrant medical personnel, Alicia Noble, presented on women's health care. At that forum, Sister Braffitt took the opportunity to share with the women gathered at Kurukuru Youth Center several accomplishments for the year 2022 and the plans and projections for the year 2023. Our Women's Ministries Director, Pastor Brandon, delivered a profound devotional message and was extremely overjoyed as a result of the spirit-filled experience and the passion of the leaders of this dynamic ministry. We were pleased to have several of our intercessors petition the throne room for our families, our governmental leaders, conference administrators, and other members of the workforce, the sixth quadrennial session, and more. From testimonies and feedback received, it is evident that God still answers prayers. The month of March is the month in which we celebrate our women. The Women's Ministries Department, in its quest to advance evangelism, invited women to be winners in its Winning Women Evangelistic Extravaganza. The Sophia Seventh-day Adventist Church embraced this special initiative with the hosting of a one-week women's ministries campaign under the theme, Still I Rise. Pastor Nicole English Newsom was the keynote speaker, and 14 precious souls were added to the kingdom. To God be the glory. Several other individuals and the churches participated in this initiative in unique ways. We encourage our women to continue their winning ways by taking every opportunity to share in the love of Jesus every day. International Women's Day of Prayer is held on the first Sabbath of March annually. From reports received, it was quite evident that our churches were fully engaged in prayer, realizing the theme transformed by prayer. A special prayer convocation and a fruit fast was conducted at the Burbies High School Auditorium. Over 500 women and the gems attended this soul-transforming event and were blessed through the ministry of Pastor Candace Fraser and Pastor Shabiki Vipals, both hailing from this ancient county. 
It was heartwarming to see the sea of purple and women flooding the auditorium with a vast assortment of fruits. But more than this, prayer and the praise continuously permeated the atmosphere of the room. On this day, special Berbetian women were awarded and added to the Women's Hall of Fate. It should be noted as well that two prominent women leaders, the Mayor of New Amsterdam, Madame Winifred Benjamin, and Miss Colleen Liddell, head teacher of the Burbys High School, were given special commendations and plaques for their significant contributions to this county. Our annual Global Children's Day was observed on March 18, 2023 under the theme, Love is a Verb. Happy Sabbath everyone, this is the Children's Ministry. We are 10 minutes away from the church. The deacons along with the elders are also visiting in the village, but we are here. We are here about an hour now, and we are happy to be a part of the Global Children's Day. We must applaud our children for using the virtual platform to demonstrate how we can show love in action. Many of them were actually involved in acts of love. Princess Ashlyn was our presenter for that program. And now for what's new. Our VBX for 2023 is fiercely faithful. God always keeps his promise. It's super fun. I love VBS so much. VBS is something I really like coming to. You guys should go to VBS. Oh, I love VBS! I love I don't, I don't know the future. Come on, hurry! We're all joining a caravan to Main Oasis where we'll be experiencing fiercely faithful VBS, where God always keeps his promises. Come! Don't forget your bag. Get ready for a Bible time adventure. All week, you and the kids will have fun learning how God is faithful to us. On April 30, the department will provide insight, information, and guidance as it relates to this annual evangelistic activity. Stay tuned. On May 1, 2023, at 3 p.m., our department will have its quarterly per initiative. Our special focus is on those of our children and adolescents writing examinations. Our Virtual Children's Ministry Certification Institute, Equipped, commences on Friday, May 5, at 7 p.m., and continues every Friday in the month of May. The month of May is the month of missionaries. As such, we encourage all our churches to have all our children involved in a mission project or projects. Remember, every child must be a missionary for Jesus. The afternoon of May 13, 2023 promises to be a grand time of interaction and music with our Mothering Made Magical initiative. Please be reminded of our annual Women's Emphasis Day on June 10, celebrating under the theme, A Love That Precedes One's Choices. Resources for this day have already been made available. Please check with the department if you haven't yet received your information in regards to this. We also encourage heightened evangelistic initiatives leading on to this day. Our devotional book for the year 2024 is entitled, My Joy and Crown. We encourage our ladies to submit their entries as our deadline is fast approaching. Before I go, please allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate our recently elected leaders for the seventh quadrennium. Thank you for joining us. See you next time for another edition of Women's Children and Adolescents Ministries Quarter in Review and What's New. <laughs>